Hey everyone, just a quick input today. We're not going to build any instruments. We're just going to make music using this. Well, I am going to be using this. You're going to be using that. And what I mean is using our bodies. We're gonna do a little body percussion. Body percussion really just basically means using your body as a drum. There are many different sounds that a drum set can make, right? Um, the toms sound different than the snare, sounds different than the cymbals. They all have different sounds. Every single part of the drum has a different sound. And our bodies are the same. When I clap, it sounds different than when I hit here. It sounds different than when I hit here. Pat and stomping which I won't do too much of because I don't want to drive my neighbors crazy, also sounds differently. Now, I'm going to show you a short little method that I learned from a man named Keith Terry. I put all the links below so you can check that out. I've asked him if I could show this small part of his work today, and he did say that that was okay, and I just wanted to give him credit for that. So thank you, Keith, very much. I'm going to show you something that he calls rhythm blocks. I'm not going to explain it too much. I'm just going to show it to you. Some of it anyway. This is one. This is two. This is number three. This is number four. Did you get it? One is always a clap. And the rest of the numbers fill themselves out down the body. So this is two. To even out three, we make one, two, three. One, two, three. Four is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, simple enough. So doing this is can be fun. There's so many things you can do with this and I'm not going to get into it. But what I wanted to do is show you how with the number block four, and it goes, you can do number blocks up to like 12 at least. Um, with the number block four, how you can make some music together. This is a steady beat more or less. If you can clap it in a steady beat, which you can. It takes practice. Most people can. Now, with these sounds, clop, bum, 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 you can play them in a steady beat, but you can also take this in exactly this order. Sometimes, you know, if you want to make a beat, but it's hard to think of what you can do, just take this, which you can already do, and make a rhythm out of it. So it's not a steady pulse. Let's change it up. Okay, you can do that. You've already got the mechanical places where you're gonna hit. Now you just have to kind of play around with it. You can do any rhythm to it or make it have any rhythm, whatever you can think of, right? What can get very fun is if one person plays the beat, let's say, the regularly paced four rhythm block, and then someone else does a rhythm over it. I did that with my son earlier today. You can have a quick look. So that's it for today. Just a simple, short input. No fancy materials required. No unfancy materials. <laughs> unfancy materials required. Just something to try out and have fun with. So, with that said, stay happy, stay healthy, and keep making lots of music at home. Bye, everyone. And it's amazing what we can really do just literally with our bodies. So, it sounds so cheesy. God!